Good day everyone, Maggie B here for Apps for iPad bringing you a video review of the brand new Twitter application just released this past week. We've been waiting a long time for this application on our iPad, so let's get right to it. As you can see when you access it, you're brought to your main Twitter account. By simply tapping on any icon for your alternate accounts, you're immediately taken to those the list of those messages. You can always add further accounts by tapping on the gear. It brings you to settings. You add your account. You, t you type in your username and password on your internal keyboard in your iPad. You click on save and you're all done. They've done it all for you. If you tap on any message within your tweets, you're brought to a bright, easy to read screen that contains all of your information. If you have any URLs contained within that screen, it will immediately take you to that website. These websites are all fully interactive. You have many opportunities to do various things with this tweet. You can hit the back arrow, which allows you to send a brand new tweet that has nothing in it to the person that sent you that tweet. You always have the option of saving or not saving it when you close it. You can star your favorites by tapping on the the square. You can retweet or you can quote the tweet and add your own message before you send it out. By tapping on the far right corner, you have the ability to translate tweets, mail your tweet, or copy the link to the tweet. By dropping down to the lower right hand corner, there you have some cool options. You can open it in Safari, you can copy the link, or you can tap on read it later. I just saved mine to Instapaper, and if you hang around a minute, I'll show you how you can do that too. This is a fully interactive page. If it's not quite large enough for you, double tap like you do in any iPad application. It will make it larger. Or simply touch the diagonal arrows, and it will fill the screen. When you're done with this page, simply touch Done. It will take you back to the previous size. If you touch the arrow on the very bottom left, it will take you back to previous pages, and you can toggle back and forth between your pages or you can get the page right out of the way. Again, in the left-hand margin, you have a variety of options. You can see your timeline, your mentions. If you have lists set up, it's as easy as this to access those lists. You can see any new messages. You can access your profile and edit it very easily. You have the ability to search all your tweets. And if you come down to the very lower left-hand corner and touch the square with the pencil. This is where you're going to put in your new tweets. You have the internal keyboard and you can send messages to all your friends and all your soon-to-be friends. Now I promised you that I would show you how I got that Instapaper to work so quickly. If we again touch the gear, it will bring up your settings. If you tap on services, and then read later, you will see that you have the ability to set up either Instapaper or read it later as your read it later account. If you forget to do that the first time when you go to use it, it's going to prompt you and you can do it at that moment. The only other thing that people are always asking me, where in the world do you refresh this new Twitter application? You simply take your finger on your top post, pull it down, it refreshes and loads all your new tweets instantaneously. Are there any cons to this? Of course, there's always cons to any application. But just access appsforipads.net and I'll have it listed there. That's it for today. That's the Twitter application in a nutshell. I'm Maggie B for appsforipads.net. I hope to see you on the website soon. Talk to you later.